Okay, well this is a Whedon um, 38 and these are very old. These were first manufactured in 1896 and they were manufactured up until 1914. So this is an old Whedon. Um, interesting design really. It's a kind of like a, a fake beam engine. Um, this is just a dummy uh, cylinder here and this is the actual cylinder which obviously turns the crank which operates the beam. Um, it's missing the crank but that's a fairly easy thing to make uh, a few problems up on the top of the boiler it's missing the safety valve which i think would have been originally one of the um weight operated type ones but it is threaded this so i could make an adapter hopefully and then put a conventional safety valve in uh, the whistle's i think been uh, soldered in at some point in time and, it, and the thread is it it's definitely broken where the uh, the actual valve screws in but that should be a reasonably easy repair um interesting construction uh, tin plate firebox brass boiler but it's mounted on wood this is wooden this this base plate here and this this block here is also wood and then there's an alley plate here which the rest of the mechanism is mounted to but um it's uh, it's apart from that it's in it's in it's complete and it's in good condition um there's oh there's no burner and the smokestack's missing as well but um might be able to get a genuine replacement smokes back. I need to go and talk to the very nice man, Mr. Frank Campbell at Weed and Steam, see whether he's got something that would be suitable. Um, I'm almost certainly got a burner that, that can, it's, this would be a single wick burner that goes in there. But uh, yeah, it just needs a good clean up really. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to do any repaint or not. The, the paint is not that good, particularly on here. Um, but it looks like that this metal plate is nailed to the wooden plate so i'm not sure about that but we'll but we'll see if it's easy enough to get it apart i might repaint it yeah. so uh, anyway there you go first look weedon 38 well here we are back with the weedon 38 now i realized that i've actually had this engine over a year and it's been sat on the uh, to be restored shelf for a while um and uh, I thought, yeah, uh, there's not an awful lot. I haven't got to do an awful lot to get it in hopefully running condition. Um, and it is a very old engine, as I said previously. You know, I mean, even at its newest, this is uh, 105 years old, this engine. And it's in pretty damn good condition. Um, so what have I done? Well, um, I've I cleaned up the flywheel and I decided not to repaint it because it's just very, very nice in its sort of shiny uh, condition there. I did repaint the top here uh in the end because it really was bad um i opted for the crank was missing and i opted for a plain um disc crank I'll, I'll i'll zoom in a little bit on that so you can see what i've done yeah so basically we've just got a little little tiny disc of brass here um, which has been uh, drilled and tapped for an 8BA uh, grub screw which holds it onto the shaft and then it was drilled and a 1 16th bit of rod put in to act as the actual crank pin and it seems to work quite well. Uh, I hope it will work quite well as I said I haven't actually um, I haven't actually run, tried to, to run this yet um, and that was really all that was needed from the point of view of a mechanical uh, repairs and restoration um, but what I've also done uh, as you can see is I've made a chimney smokestack for it and um, I also made a uh, an adapter for the safety valve so let's go and have a look at that this would originally have had one of the lever arm with weights type safety valve given its age um, and I've made an adapter, which th 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 this this part here is threaded, and I made an adapter so I can fit a normal weed and safety valve. Um, the smokestack, my attempt at making a smokestack, um, it's a piece of stainless steel tube, which is <clears throat> roughly the right size. This is the, my first attempt at um, bluing stainless steel, and I'm quite pleased. It came out quite well. I used to basically heated it up uh, until it was sort of a, like a dull red colour and then let it cool down and as it cools down it, it, it'll, it goes through various different colours but mainly you get the blue that you want 
go over the whole length and then quench the thing in engine oil and it seems to have come out quite well I'm, I'm, I'm there's a little bit purple at the top but it's it's mainly blue so I'm fairly ho hopeful that that will be you know what the original one looked like and then I, I made a brass cap for it but um, that's that's all right but it's not come out particularly well but it's um it's, it's better than not having any kind of a smoke snack on it at all so so there we are the um uh, Weedon 38 in all its glory um now what we've got to do is see whether it will actually run Well, here we are. Now, I did try this earlier um, and we'll, had a little bit of a leak from the old uh, valve here, the whistle valve, which I've uh, taped up with PTFE, which I hope will now, um, it certainly seems to be, uh, was leaking steam quite badly. So, uh, we've got some steam pressure. Let's just see if we can get it going. I don't think we're quite there yet. No, yeah, not quite. Let's leave it for a little bit longer. No, I don't think we're quite there yet. Right, let's give it another go. I think we're there now. Well, that sounds hopeful. Yes. Not exactly the fastest steam engine in existence, but it is running. Bear in mind this is at least 105 years old. And very quiet too. No, I'm well pleased with that. Not bad, is it, eh? For a, for a very, very old steam engine. Wing 38 and the steam for the first time. I definitely don't like that, um, that brass top that I made for the smokestack. That's going to have to come off. We'll have to make another one of those. But, um, oh, the burner I'm using is at, um, out of one of the uh, out of my burn axe steam engine, which is a, one of those, mm -hmm. probably similar to what would have been in there. As I said, not the liveliest of performers, but it is running. Hmm, might be picking up a little bit. Well, there you go. Um, a very old at least 105 years, Whedon number 38. Uh, under steam for the first time since it's uh, a little bit of a clean up and uh, it's a uh, new crank and crank pin. But uh, I definitely think that uh, this is a lovely little engine. I don't have many beam, beam steam engines on. I know this one isn't a beam engine really, it's just a dummy one. But it's it's it. There's something about them. But something about their action, which is really nice. I'm well pleased with this one. It's turned out all right. Right, that's it for now. There we go. Weedon 38 under steam for the first time. Hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks very much for watching. Okay, just a very, very quick <coughs> add-on to the video. As you're probably aware, I was very unhappy with the first smokestack uh, cow, the top part that I made for it.
and um, it was bugging me all the way through. So <clears throat> I spent a couple of hours this morning making another one, and here it is. And hopefully you'll uh, agree that this one is much better. I think I rushed the first one, that's why it didn't really sort of turn out that well. Anyway, there you go, that's that that's the uh, that's the new one. Much better, much more like what it should look like. So uh, I just uh, I hate that when I when I do something like that and it just doesn't it isn't right and you've just gotta you've just gotta put it right, it just nags at you, otherwise um, Well, it does me anyway. Right, so this really is it. <laughs> <laughs> for the for the Whedon 38. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.